In this tutorial, you will learn many things about the Enscape 3.5 about the interior rendering. First of all, we will talk about the uh, interior setting. So, you will learn in this video. Interior setting and lighting, one of the important elements. Sun position and lens flare, one of the another important elements for realistic render. I can move in the environment and you can see the fine details in all of the materials, sunlight and environment. So, before this tutorial, I created some type of scene for myself. So I'm going to press F on my keyboard and use the render number one in here. So let's get to work. First of all, I'm going to turn on the safe frame. And after that, I will change my projection from perspective to the two point perspective. So now I have some straight camera shots. I will click on it and move it to this place and select the uh, SketchUp in here and here. So I will click on the Enscape Material Editor and click on the SketchUp Paint Bucket. If we want to make this render much brighter, you can use the Sample Paint and go to your house, pick up your floor texture and decrease the uh, roughness as you can and you can see the final details in here i prefer to use some number about 21 and this is the fine details that we have in there when i increase the specular the power of reflection and white lighting will be increased for me i want to increase the intensity of the displacement map for making this render much realistic after all of these jobs I'm going to close it in here and maximize the uh, landscape in this place. I can orbit in my shot in there and I want to turn on all of these lights at my right side. So I'm going to minimize it again, move in the uh, SketchUp environment, click on the uh, SketchUp paint bucket in here and start my job with these hidden lights. So I'm going to click on it. That's the uh, coral, some type of texture that I edited for my job. And now when I change the coral color to the white color and change the type of it to the self illuminate, it takes a bit of time and now we have this lighting in here. But the lighting is not over. I we can select the paint bucket in here and pick up this texture. So lemon chiffon is my next texture. I will change the color of it to the white and change the type of it to the self illuminate. Now we have another light in here and the final light related to these type of halogens that I created for my job. So I will use all of them at the same time. I will click on the sample paint another time, pick this face up, simple white name for it and self illuminate again. I think lighting is over for me and now time for the uh, making a little bit brightness in my shot. I can select the slide in here, click on the Enscape objects and increase the uh, power of it as I can. It takes a little bit of time and after that you can see the changes, very simple and easy. I will hold it in some decade number, for example 56,000 candela, something like that and now I will close it. So. I can maximize the uh, Enscape in here, press F and turn back to my render number one there. My safe frame is on and now I'm going to click on the visual setting. So I will start my job another time. This time I will use the uh, field of view to focus on my house. Something like this for example. 78% can be really good. 78 degree for the uh, field of view. If you want to see this much better, I can minimize the Enscape in the right side and my visual setting at the left side. My rendering quality is on the high mode. I can change it to the ultra. After that, I can play with the exposure to re-expose my screen. Something like this. Some number about 76% is acceptable. So I'm going to turn on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus and play with the focal point. To reach to the best place for my shot. I prefer to focus on the main point of my living room. 4.5 is the good number for the focal point and the depth of field is about 
15 percent i think everything is done in the uh, main bar so next step is the image bar i can click on the image bar use the auto contrast and i can make this render a little bit warm something like that color temperature is about 5600 kelvina and i can increase the saturation about 101 percent in the motion blur everything is zero but i can increase the lens layer to create some type of good effect on my job i will full it up to the 100 or 98 percent and the bloom can be increased to create some graphical result but your render will be fade for you so i prefer to use four percent for my bloom job wignate can be decreased to the 22 and chromatic aberration is zero in the atmosphere i will turn off the fog option in here to have some clear gi calculation inside of my house when i decrease the sun brightness you can create some type of rainy mood render and when i change it to the zero you can see the changes like that but right now i prefer to increase it to the uh 88 percent night sky is not useful shadow sharpness zero because all of the shadows inside of this house is completely soft shadows because we have curtains and artificial light brightness can be increased related to the spotlight and hidden lights so i will increase the artificial light brightness and you can see the effects at the background so 113 percent can be good ambient brightness is some number about maybe 60 it control your interior light with the exterior light so i prefer to increase it right now because it's really useful in interior rendering 81 percent is good intensity of the wind is zero and the sky is about clear sky without any clouds so everything is done in the rendering i can change the resolution to the ultra hd my rendering quality and format is the png because png have some better quality than the jpg my main bar is good outlines is good but we have some work with the uh other elements in rendering like the materials textures and lighting so i will close it in here turn off the uh, one point perspective and save frame so i will go outside of this house like that and i will click on the enscape asset library so i prefer to use multi-asset placement click on the paint selection select these grasses for myself change my category to the vegetation and i want to change the uh, tags to the uh, trees now i can add more trees about my job i prefer to use some high quality trees if you want some high quality trees you can use conferius or some other settings like the evergreen for example but all of the assets in enscape have some high quality and acceptable so i will select this one and another tree something like that and i will increase the density as i can regenerate for several times and confirm placement and apply changes if you want to show about that what's your render situation after asset placing you can use camera management and sketchup or enscape it takes a little bit time so I will click on the F render number one in here. So this is not exactly what I want from this render, but I can fix it out very simple and easy. I will minimize the landscape in this part of my job and go to the uh, zooming out position. Delete these three. So I can select this one, move it a little bit to this part of my job. Now you can see effects on your 3d job very simple and easy something like that can be good and i will take another copy to this place as you can see it will come inside of your house so be careful about the uh, assets and objects coordinate something like that can be good i can go outside again but this time i will reduce the rendering quality to the medium mode and now 
I can walk outside. Very simple and easy. So I want to add some type of hedges for my job, but I don't know how. So I can click on the Enscape Asset Library again. And after that, I can click on the vegetation and change my tags to the uh, hedges. Hedge in here. And I can add, for example, some type of hedge like this maybe. Or something like that can be better. All right, it's good. I can select it and rotate it. Very simple. Like that. About 90 degree. And click on the uh, apply changes. It takes a little bit of time. And after that, hedge will be applied for you. I will close it in here. View management again. And render number one in this place. I can minimize the uh, Enscape in this place and go outside. I can rescale these three because it's a little bit too big for this job. I need more detail of these three about lifts or body or other things. So I can control it like that. Very easy. My hedge is something like that and you can see it in the environment. So I can take some multi copies in some good distance about for example 100 centimeter and take 5x copies like that to cover my outside so for better and realistic result you can open one of these doors exactly like this for example this one about 30 degree like that and you can move it or coordinate it after this job and uh, sometimes maybe you rotate it at the wrong coordinate and destination so you can use the rotate option another time and rotate your job about 40 for example now it's correct so for another door and entry you can do this job very simple from the outside so be careful about this point from here to here something about 66 or maybe 36 or maybe 10 it exactly depends on you and what you want from your job so finally after all of these jobs i'm going to turn back my rendering quality to the ultra and turn on the uh, safe frame two point perspective and i think everything is done for me now i only want to render this job but i don't know how so i can click on the uh, fold up view Decrease my field of view much more. Something like this. About 65. And close it. And reduce the uh, depth of field about 9. And time for the uh, rendering. So I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape screenshot in here. And I will save it on my desktop with some custom file name and PNG format. So I'm going to press save. And after that, you can see final result will be ready for you. If this content is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. At the end of this video, you can watch the pro lighting tutorial about the uh, God's Ray in Enscape, like the Illumion or other softwares, and how you can improve your interior lighting with changing the sun direction and sun angle. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and goodbye.